As Agnes Gahalan, DiCaprio's director in Total Eclipse explains it, Leo's like a medium. He opens his body and his mind to receive messages coming from another person's life. DiCaprio's director, Baz Luhrmann, stated that with Leo, you might see 30 people come out of him in a day. Oh, what's this? My poor Matilda. Don't be upset. Don't cry. This is a bad dream. One day I'll wake up. Love, Paul. Nice, was it? It's part of acting is to lose yourself in the moment, to let the chaos or the muse come and just enter and happen organically. Bacon also attributes his successful acting to... Demons under the surface, and as an actor, you have to keep them bubbling. Meryl Streep's uncanny ability to inflect true life accents and characters has completely astounded her viewers. As her co-star on the film Postcards from the Edge, McLean studied Streep's acting performances. McLean said... Or put another way, perhaps that is the true meaning of channeling. The channeler puts aside the conscious mind and surrenders to another identity. That's the phenomenon I saw in Meryl. She was known for entering into deep trances before each scene. One of Monroe's close personal psychics recalled how she would draw attention from the spirit world, asking for their guidance. When she saw a camera, any camera, she lit up and was totally different. The moment the shot was over, she fell back into her not very interesting position. When describing the acting phenomena that described her, the tortured Monroe attested to someone else working in her. Jekyll and Hyde, more than two. I'm so many people. They shock me sometimes. I wish it was just me. Don't fight it. Relax. Caesar at times believes himself to be possessed by a spirit representing the masculine side of nature's sexual polarity. Sometimes when the possession takes me, it's very dramatic. It feels like I'm being wiped out as an individual and replaced by something universal. She spoke of leaving her body and communicating with voices from unseen beings. When I went away, I left my body completely and could hear other voices all around me chattering about how God would make me strong and how nobody could really get me. A spiritual message, really. The voices that she heard were not from the God of the Bible. The Ouija board wasn't sending me a message from the dead. She has engaged in automatic writing. Roseanne writes of her channeling. It would all just come pouring out as if I were in a trance, and not until I reread it did I know what it was about. Sometimes it would scare me to read it because it seemed to belong to another place and time, and I would wonder, where did I get this? These demonic influences used Roseanne like a puppet to usher society into Crowley's New Age philosophies through her shows. Oh my God! It's not hard to connect the dots and see the common denominators that have worked through the lives of the Hollywood elite. Actor Johnny Depp confesses, I know I have demons. I'm 30 different people sometimes. 